Hey guys, what's up? Today, in this video, we are going to talk about Sibutramine, a well-known slimming pill. If you guys never heard of this medicine, we'll let you understand more by giving an example. Jenny was an obese girl with hypertension. She had been dieting and exercising for a long time, but the results were not good. One day, she came across an advertisement online about a natural herbal slimming pill which had claims of rapid weight loss if combined together with exercise. She decided to give it a try since the price was affordable. She took the 10 mg pill once daily together with a low-calorie diet and exercise. She started losing appetite and her overall food intake was reduced. This helped her to lose weight fast and the result was evident after a month. Jenny's friends noticed her changes and were amazed at the results. Jenny started wanting more and wished to slim down even faster. Hence, she started to take three pills a day in hopes of maximizing the effects. She then experienced dizziness, fast heart rate, and tremors in her hands and feet. However, she was not willing to stop the pills nor ask for help as she felt like her current weight loss is a dream come true. Therefore, she decided to tolerate the side effects. But after a few days, she started to experience shortness of breath and also chest pain. The symptoms became so unbearable that she finally went to see a doctor. The doctor asked her about her current medication and she confessed to take herbal slimming pills. It was then discovered that the herbal slimming pills actually contain sibutramine. The doctor explained to Jenny about this. Sibutramine is a drug introduced in 1997 for the treatment of obesity as it helps in losing weight via appetite suppression. But a study called SCOUT was later conducted in 2010 where it showed that there was a 16% increase in risk of cardiovascular events in patients taking it as compared to those who did not. Hence, it was withdrawn from the market in several countries such as the US, UK and China. However, in Malaysia, the drug was still used for treatment of obesity, but the Drug Control Authority DCA, had directed the Sibutramine product registration holders to pass a Dear Healthcare Professional letter to all prescribers in Malaysia and also to add in safety information inside the product inserts. Sibutramine is categorized as a Group B poison, which means that it can only be given with a prescription. The National Pharmaceutical Control Bureau and PCB through its National Adverse Drug Monitoring Program had received a total of 38 adverse drug reports for sibutramine. Five of the reports were related to cardiovascular events including three reports of palpitation and two reports of non-fatal myocardial infarction. Normal dose is between 10 to 15 mg once daily and it is usually used together with proper diet and exercise to achieve the desired effects. Common side effects are dizziness, increased heart rate, tremors, dry mouth, constipation and nausea. Meanwhile, serious adverse effects are chest pain, shortness of breath, blood vision, heart attack and stroke. The doctor advised Jenny to discontinue the pills out of safety concerns and encouraged her to slim down using a proper diet and exercise plan. Jenny regretted her actions of taking the fast way to slim down and she ought to be more rational in the future. Take home message. It is always advisable to consult a doctor and to not self-medicate as the initial condition may worsen if one does not seek proper treatment from a trained medical professional. One should also be aware of the danger of buying drugs online as validation of drugs sold online are questionable. These drugs may be unregistered or unapproved and this may lead to potential safety health concerns. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something from here.